Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my favorite lipsticks of 2023. One of the reasons I have so many lipsticks is because it's one of the fastest ways to change an entire look. So you can go from something very casual like this to something very dramatic very quickly and I don't even have to change anything else. I love the different textures and finishes as well that also impact a look and these are some of my favorites from the year. Starting with this one I have on here Spark by Victoria Beckham. This is one of the most versatile lip shades I have because it works with pretty much everything. It's one of those that's right in the middle where it can go with both warm or cool tones and it's such a comfortable lipstick to wear. So all of these products have to be comfortable or else I'm not wearing them. So you won't see a liquid lip here. I don't have any liquid lip products. I like traditional lip products as well as gloss type formulas. So that's what you'll see here today. But this one is so pretty on. So actually I'm gonna try them all on for you so you can see what they look like on. Let me go ahead and remove. Okay, this next one is by Chanel and it's fairly new, but I really love this shade and I'm surprised I never got it. So you can see it's a bit cooler, but this one kind of is like a Your Lips a Bit Better on the cooler side for me though. So I would say that the one that I just had on, the previous one by, by Victoria Beckham, is Your Lips Better with a little bit of a pinkier tone. This one is with a cooler tone. It's already having an effect on the lighting, just the change in the lip color here, but it has a little bit of the purple tones that I have in my lips. So if I want something for a cooler look, this is a great one to pull for. So it's like pink with a little bit of a coolness about it. Really lovely formula as well. It's a bit more opaque than the Victoria Beckham. Also quite hydrating. By the way, this is the Rouge Coco formula 434 Mademoiselle. I thought it was going to look different when I saw it online, but I just have to find the right blush and eyeshadow to wear with this though. It's a little bit finicky in terms of it wanting to really be paired with more cool colors because you can see the warmth popping out in my blush. I don't think it appeared warm like this when I had the Victoria Beckham lip product on. Okay, this next shade, I love this one because it's got a lovely sheer, a little bit more glossy finish to it, but also a Your Lips a Bit Better that works with most shades. And this one is by Chantecaille. It's in Bourbon Rose and it's their Lip Chic formula. So it's one of their most loved formulas. As you can see, I gravitate more towards natural looking lip colors, just things that enhance and just are pretty colors. So I like when they flatter the skin tone and don't fight with my coloring. I love some of the more dramatic lip shades on other people, but on me, it's a little bit distracting for me to wear. But these are the ones that I love and wear over and over. In fact, I had to grab a lot of these from my bags because that's how much I love them. I take them with me and I actually finally found one that had gone missing for about two weeks but I just found it, so we're gonna try that one on next. But this is Chantecaille's Lip Chic in Bourbon Rose. Really comfortable as well. Okay, next is one that's not like a pinky tone. It has a bit of a beige tone to it and a bit of warmth. I typically go for more berry-toned lipsticks. They tend to look better, some degree of berry tone, but this one is nice and warm. I love that it's a little bit harmonious with my overall skin tone. This is by Chanel. It's the Rouge Coco Balm in 914. So again, another lightweight lip product. So we're starting off a bit more sheer here. We do have some more dramatic lip colors coming up, but this one is really beautiful for very soft and natural look. I love this when I'm doing a more understated look or if I'm doing something smoky in the eye area, this one is really beautiful. And plus, again, one of those easy products to apply. But these are slight variations on almost the same tone. But again, you can see how different they look once they're on. And you can see how each of these would come in handy based on the type of eyeshadow and cheek product I have on, if it's warm or cool. But I've been loving this one. I have to mention one that I don't have because it's, it went away with an empty and I haven't replaced it yet, but it's Tan Line by Victoria Beckham. That was really lovely. I loved that one so much, but it was time for that one to go. And like I said, I've not yet gotten a replacement for it, but I definitely will pick that one up in the future. But this is the Chanel Rouge Coco Balm in 914. So I hope this is helpful because to me, lip swatches on the arm are a little bit tricky. The only thing I like about that is that you can see the difference in undertone, but I think, especially if you're like me and you have color already to your lips, that color is influencing whatever the shade of the lip product is. So it's gonna look different on my arm than it is on my face. 
So I hope that this is helpful. We've got here a gloss here. It's a Rouge Coco Gloss by Chanel. And this one is in caramel, which to me doesn't look anything like what I think caramel should look like. I was expecting something more of like a tan tone, but this is pretty. It's a little bit cool as well. And it does remind me a bit, just a little bit of Mademoiselle because the tones are both cool. And actually, let me hold them up next to each other. So this is Mademoiselle and this is Carmel. So Mademoiselle is a little bit deeper, a little cooler looking, but if you like that tone, you might really like Carmel. And I love this for something really easy to wear, something that's just gonna even out the skin tone, give me some hydration. So this is a really pretty one if I want something on the cooler side. I think lip products are one of the things I try out the most here. Even though I feel like I don't have that many, I feel like I try out a lot of them during the year. But like I said, I know I love something when it gets lost in a handbag. Okay, next up we've got one up by Hermes. And I love looking at their lip shades. I have one really dramatic lip. It's almost like a really deep, deep berry tone a wine tone and then I have one that's lighter but this is the one I still love the most by Hermes and I love their packaging by the way it's beautiful this one is number 21 and I have loved this for a while now it's got a bit of warmth to it as well this is a satin formula as you can see it's a little bit brighter a little bit lighter than my natural lip color and it's the first as an actual lipstick product most of the other products I showed you earlier were a little bit more glossy a little bit more sheer but this is like a proper lipstick but it is really beautiful and I still love it I think it goes really well with most products except for when they're cooler then I can see I need to pull for a cooler lip which is why I picked one of the cooler lip shades by Hermes um, but I still actually spotted another one by Hermes that's also cool toned that I need to try out, but it's a little hard to get a hold of. But this one is 21. I think it goes really well with my skin tone as it is, and it's just lovely formula, very comfortable to wear as well. Okay, this next one we didn't see a whole lot on camera, and I can't recall my first impression of this, but I recently started using it again so I was looking for a lovely pink, just a pretty pink color with a little bit of brightness to it. And this is by Clay de Poe. So I wore this, gosh, in a recent video. I think it's in Heliconia. And I think I was expecting a different shade. That kind of threw me off initially. Yes, this is kind of bright, but you can see how pretty that looks. It's a really lovely formula. It's like a creamy lipstick, really creamy, like a very thick gloss in a way. Yeah, it does feel like it looks like a really thick gloss, but it does have a creaminess to it as if it was applied as a lipstick. It's a really interesting texture because it's not goopy. Like it looks like it would be goopy here because it is in this gloss form, but it's not. It is a really lovely hydrating formula, but I think it provides a lot of life to the face. And that's what I was looking for the day I chose this because I wanted to brighten up my face. So that's why I think lipsticks are so transformative. So they can really do a lot especially if you don't have a lot of makeup on, I think lipstick is really powerful. This is the Cream Rouge Shine formula. Again, very comfortable. It's gotta be comfortable for me to want to wear a lip for a while. But yeah, I love how it just brightens up the whole face. Okay, next we've got a Dior lip and I don't have as many Dior lip products, but I really like this shade. It's the Rouge Dior in 683 Rendezvous. It's a satin lip. Of all the finishes of lip products, satin's my favorite. Actually, with eyeshadows as well as foundations and powders, satin is my favorite finish overall. I think because it has just a slight amount of glow to it, it's not completely matte, and it just looks really healthy and looks very, very natural, so I love that finish. And this one has that satin finish to it. So let me know what other Dior lip products you like, but I really love this shade and this finish. So now we're gonna get into a couple of colors that are more bold. So if you wanna see bold lipsticks, we're gonna have a couple coming up here. I know this is not bold, but for me, this is about as bold as I will go for an everyday look, this shade right here. Okay, this one is one that I had worn, gosh, recently, but anytime we wear this color, I get questions about it. It's by Chanel, it's the Le Rouge Lestre. So this packaging, well actually I just switched it out because they were interchangeable. This is the one where you push like this and it does that. And this one is really pretty. This one is a bit bold for me to wear on the daily, but I love the way it looks. And it's a lovely formula if you've not tried it. 
it's more hydrating there's a bit more glossiness to it than a satin but it's beautiful now this one I'll just kind of apply and then kind of shear it out a little bit because it's very bold and then I'll take a cotton bud here went outside the lines a little bit and I soften it okay it's getting a little messy just because it's a uh, like the ninth lip product I've tried on. Yeah, so I like it it's a little bit sheared out like that, but I can show you how it looks built up because it's really glossy if you build this up. And when I have a bold lip, I don't wanna go super glossy, but I can show you, but I just wanna show you the colors. This is in the shade 832. Okay, let's build this up so you can see it. So if I do that, you see the glossiness there. It's a little too glossy for me, but some people might like that. So that is a full application of this lip product just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, and then for the last one, gosh, that is really pretty though, isn't it? For the last one, it's one that I picked up recently, but I have so many questions when I very wear it, so let me just remove this. And it's this one right here. It's this little lipstick by YSL. It's from the lip kit from the holiday, and this is the red shade in there. Now YSL is one of those lines where I haven't tried out many of their lip products, but this one is stunning. I think it's a beautiful red. Yeah, this was in the best of YSL kit from Sephora. This is Rouge Muse. So Rouge Muse is this shade right here. I do love so many lip shades and I probably could make this list twice as long, but these are the ones that I continue to look for and wear over and over. And these are the ones, like I said, I had to go into my handbags to go find them because I use them on a daily, except for these last couple of shades, and I don't wear those on the daily, but the other ones were things I definitely had to go hunt them down before I could put them in this video. I would love to know what your favorite lip products were for 2023. Do let us know where you love them because I'd love to explore some of those options in 2024. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.